to all judges. First and Second Appellate Division, Superior Court, New York City, Court of Appeals, Albany, New York, U.S. Supreme Court, Washington, D.C. I write demanding a rehearing of my worse than lowest deadly gangster police state criminal conviction, which appeal case was in your farce, deadly gangster ghetto communist, gangster computer god manipulated gangster court. Below I state some of the many reasons for said rehearing, plus all of my evidence the Attorney General chicanerously forwarded to the Bar Association Grievance Committee for prosecution of felon gangster mafiotic negroidic the Black Frank. Gelada, a gangster judge, therefore unprosecutable. The blackish, menial, negroidic in appearance and demeanor, felon, vicious, parroting puppet, ex-district attorney in Nassau County, with no private law experience, detested by all factions, in spite of this, solely because of his many year secret gangsterization and crucifixion of me, this negroidic, low, mafiotic, deadly, black French Gelada was then immediately and unprecedentedly and repeatedly, rapidly promoted in spite of tremendous opposition to the present position of second highest state judgeship solely through gangster computer god manipulation as additional evidence during the last week of my within mentioned month long worse than a farce Nazi court criminal trial in Nassau County Court 1958 where dwarfed it felon gangster parroting puppet rectum lapper sodomist Judge William Sullivan's fall of fat felon slot wife she as planned sat in the front row repeatedly stripping her overclothes and completely pulling up her dress and slip and pulling aside her old fashioned pink bloomers in order to display her anus, her conch, she repeatedly gesticulated and whispered, I'll give it to you to suck, finish it. Her husband's dwarfed felon, gangster, parroting puppet, rectum, lapper, sodomist, Dr. William Sullivan, flushed face in repeated open sodomistic displays, stuck out his tongue, wiggling it, chuckling to her. You hangman rope, gangster, felon, parroting puppet, scum on top, playboys, can watch my Frankenstein eyesight television playback of this felonious, lowly sodomistic display by the felon, sodomist, Judge William Sullivan, and his lowly felon slut wife during my trial in Nassau County Court. After my worst than Nazi court criminal conviction, crucifixion, for years in poverty I suffered hopeless, jobless, character assassination, and isolation in this low, deadly... I was the repeat target victim of this gangster government's gangsterization and undetectable extermination attempts to shut me up forever with my secrets. Then, in December 14th, the 17th, 1965, I attempted to escape this worst mongrel gangster communist country to return to the Slovenian Polish land of my forefathers. Addendum. I personally filed my maximum conviction appeal in 1961 with the chief clerk of the U.S. Supreme Court, Washington, D.C. The chief clerk, he knew me. He sneeringly grabbed my thick, strong, homemade appeal brief, and then he attempted to rip it up in desperation. The chief clerk of the U.S. Supreme Court ripped off the cover of my appeal brief. Miraculously, I stopped him without a deadly scene to me. Then, filing my ripped appeal brief, the felon, another co-conspirator with the nine hangman rope gangster judges, the chief clerk in cowardly fear, in staccato speech and gesticulation, he confessed to me, Mr. Deck, everyone is in on this one against you, even the attorney general, namely Bobby Kennedy, younger than his very young brother, Jack Kennedy, Kennedy, then president, the Kennedy Playboys. Little fact, Bobby was a felon, lowest, chicanerous, untouchable, parroting puppet gangster against worse than defenseless. Mr. Francis E. Deck Esquire, my quick questioning, and the co-conspiring felon chief clerk explained and gave me a new and special notice form for only Mr. Francis E. Deck Esquire, which had to be mailed to the opposition, the deadly gangster district attorney, in order to prevent the dismissal of my appeal case. Leaving quickly, I noticed in the room and hall several approaching uniformed and plain clothes be weapons police. Later, Joseph I. Deck, my only brother, deadly villain, murderer, and secret assassin, spy agent against me for this gangster government, cursed me state that I tricked the chief clerk of the U.S. Supreme Court and that I got out of that death trap fast. Law, long enough to say one word of pray for me, for your only hope for a future. As a friend, as a friend.